There is no question that there's a lot of variety in aviation. We've already been looking at some of the uh, high-speed biz prop aircraft and also some helicopters as well. But this one really did impress me. Yesterday I talked about this on the preview. Now this is an autogyro. Now for people who are not aware of what an autogyro is, very quickly, it's got a propeller on top, but it hasn't got an engine turning that round, has it? Why not? Because it's an uh, autogyro. It's, it's uh, spinning free. Right. It's only we are using the, the power to pre-rotate, to pre-spin the uh, rotor before takeoff. And after that we disconnected the transmission and it's going freely. Can we get inside? Can we have a look inside? Let's see if we can squeeze in here for a moment. Now, how do I get in here, Arthur? So, one foot first. Oh gosh! I'm too, I'm too old for this! <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> It's like with the grace of a ballerina. <laughs> the machine is a little bit higher than the standard because there are tundra tires. Tundra tires is higher. Right. The standard is a little bit lower, the access is easier. Yeah. But to this machine it's a little bit difficult because the, the, it's a little bit higher, yeah. the, the access. That's only the reason. I suppose actually thinking about it, because you can land at such slow speeds and take off at yeah. slow speeds as well, that means you can land on a much rougher surface? Yes, we can land uh, on, uh, with a 10 meters, enough to, t to land. Yeah. To take off we need much more, of course, because we have to take off like a standard yeah. aircraft, a maximum 150 meters. Yeah. So as long as you've got a little bit of flat ground, you can pretty much take off from anywhere? You can land on very small. Yeah. Take off, you need a little bit strip. Right. I mean, like, 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 as, as I said, 150 sure. meters minimum. Okay. Minimum, maximum usually. Yeah. Rob, can you just pop around here for a second and we will just... I just want to have a look at some of these controls very quickly with Arthur. Now look, a lot of people watching this show are going to be familiar with light aircraft and perhaps with helicopters as well. So looking at these controls, is there anything particularly different that people need to get used to in an autogyro? The instruments are standard like you can, you can uh, see in every other uh, light aircraft and helicopter as well. Just standard instruments using for flight. And how hard is it to learn to fly an autogyro compared to like a light, light sport aircraft or a helicopter? It's so easy like an uh, aircraft much easier than a helicopter. For a helicopter you, you need really a lot of hours to, to learn to fly. It's so easy like every other aircraft. Right. And um, just finally, you've, you've flown it a little bit, haven't you? <laughs> Come on, what's it like to fly? Do you enjoy it? Uh, very, very. Because the main, pre uh, the main uh, pleasure is to lie very slow and very low. Yeah. And when we, all, when we uh, fly over the grass very slow, you can see all animals running on or escaping yeah. because when they hear you or see you, it's very fun. Well, you've got visibility down here as well. Actually, just very quickly, just before we round up, because I've been talking far too long for our artist, just look at, the, look at the gap through the floor, if you can see those on the camera. That must be absolutely stunning. Look, Arthur, we've got to wrap up. We've been going on too long. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.